A brown bobby is a triangular shaped donut. It is baked in a brown bobby machine, which resembles and is operated similarly to a waffle iron. These machines were created by the Food Display Machine Corporation in Chicago, Illinois, U.S., around the 1920s and possibly later. History The Food Display Machine Corporation was located at 500 North Dearborn Street in Chicago. Its president was H. Adams. In the mid-1920s, through advertisements in Popular Mechanics magazine and perhaps other means as well, these machines were marketed as a way to start a small business. The machine's manual has three parts. Seven proven business plans for operating a successful brown bobby business. How to get the best results from your brown bobby machine. Recipes that whet the buying appetite. The seven business plans described are selling direct to homes, getting the restaurant and drug store business, getting the grocery business, window demonstrating and sampling, getting the student trade, selling through salesmen. Running a brown bobby store of your own. Some of the suggested locations for selling included candy stores, theaters, chain stores, bowling alleys, cigar stores, railway stations, dance halls, waiting rooms, garages, filling stations, general stores, and soft drink parlors. One could also obtain boxes and bags from the company for packaging the donuts. The machines are no longer manufactured as the Food Display Machine Corporation has long been out of business. According to the annual report of the Federal Trade Commission for 1937 the company was issued a cease and desist order for misrepresenting possible or maximum earnings for its potato chip machines. The machine The brown bobby machine resembled and operated similar to a waffle iron. Its surfaces were made of aluminium and were prepared for baking by coating with paraffin, though users today would most often use cooking spray. The machine had a high 600 watt surfaces connected in parallel and a low 300 watt surfaces connected in series setting. Cooking was done on the high setting, the low setting was for allowing the machine to remain idle. Machines were available as either a single aka Brown Bobby Jr. for $52 or as two machines riveted together into a single unit for $100. Since these machines are no longer manufactured they are prized by their owners and often handed down to subsequent generations to continue a tradition of Brown Bobby making, especially during the holidays. The donuts. The Brown Bobby Manual included ten recipes for donuts, four icing recipes and a number of prepared donut mixes were also available. Recipes included plain, whole wheat, bran, spice, nut, tutti frutti, chocolate and oatmeal. The donuts were touted as greaseless because they were not deep fried, but as the included recipe indicates, there was an amount of fat in the donut itself. See also. List of donut varieties List of fried dough varieties List of breakfast foods Food portal <laughs>